Hey yo, what's up guys? Um it's Kevin, aka Big K Horror, and um I'm a little overdue for a new video on here of an update. So I figure I'm gonna already update um some of the crap I got on for Christmas. However, um it was a very light Christmas this year, but it was a badass Christmas. Um so I got a few things related to the horror genre, of course, as I always do every Christmas. And I kind of want to show off a few of those things, especially the last two things, which I'm very proud of to have in my collection. But to move on, okay, um, first things first, uh, one, uh, I got, uh, several movies and some books on the horror genre, and the first one I want to showcase is, finally, the Dorm That Drip Blood, the, uh, Blu-ray DVD combo pack right here. This is a little mean-spirited, uh, college campus slasher flick. That was, I believe, filmed in actually like 1980 or 81, but it didn't come out till like 83 or 84. And it's a bloody, nasty, bastard of a movie. Um, I actually have the original VHS release, which I believe is right here, as you see. But this is the edited version, and it was always an edited version. Not now, though. This is the unedited version. And man... Is it gory? It's a badass film, though. And that's uh, The Dorm That Drip Blood. It's a typical slasher, um, you know, Christmas-themed, actually, uh, slasher film, you know, taking place on this college campus while these kids are trying to close down a dorm for the Christmas season and get everything out of it, and there's a killer on the loose murdering people off one by one in very nasty, vicious ways. And uh, I've always been a fan of that movie, still am, even more so now because of that Blu-ray DVD. But no, for any of the people of my friends out there who know I have this, no, I don't have a Blu-ray yet. I actually had to get the Blu-ray because only it, the DVD only comes with the Blu-ray. So, okay, uh, moving on, my next uh, movie I got is another little movie I enjoy. And it's a slasher film from the mid-80s, but it's kind of a hybrid. It's, um, it's called uh, Killer Party. Okay, and it's it's kind of uh, a college hijinks comedy mixed with a slasher film and a supernatural possession film also in it for good measure. Hard to explain, but it's kind of a slasher hybrid and it's a fun damn movie. I've always loved this film. Um, I too have the old VHS of this as well, but it finally came on DVD, so I had to get that. Okay, moving on. Um, this next movie I never saw, I never rented back in the day of the VHS boom, but I'm glad I got this DVD because it's cleaned up, you can actually see what's going on in the film, aside from all the dark prints that existed back then on VHS, and that is, um, uh, Paul Lynch's, uh, follow-up to Prom Night, which is also one of my favorite slasher films from the 80s, and it's called Humongous, Uncut. This film right here is... Pretty damn badass, I have to say. It's um, pretty much about a group of friends who go out on a boat excursion, and uh, they shipwreck pretty much, or boat wreck, on the edge of this island that's known as Dog Island, and it's got a very creepy, crazy uh, legacy to it. And while they're stuck on the island, they're stuck on there with a uh, the son that was birthed from a rape years ago, who's now the only inhabitant on the island, who pretty much is a carnivore and eats people, and he's just he's just a big mammoth guy. He's pretty much a beast. So it's pretty much these teens up against this beast, and it's a very fast-track film, and it's fun. And I loved it. So, badass film. Okay, the next one I got was this film that's been long out of print, and it finally came out on a special edition, 30th anniversary edition DVD, and that is called Nightmare Uncut. And it's also known as Nightmares in a Damaged Brain. And uh, this movie is a nasty little movie, too. Um, it's pretty much about this uh, killer who's undergone a lot of, or this, this schizo who's undergone a lot of psychiatric drugs that are pretty much being tested on him. And he goes on a, he drives uh, from New York to Florida to go on a murder spree and to come after this family, which has a twist at the end. Um, that movie was pretty badass, and I'm glad I got to finally see it in its uncut glory. And I, I fully enjoyed it. So those were the films I officially got, aside from some sitcom DVDs of, like, Wings and stuff. But that was my horror stuff I got. I know it was very little, but I thought, you know, from Nightmare, Humongous, Kill a Party, and The Dorm That Drip Blood, I got a good, decent, you know, pick of films to add to my collection. Okay, <clears throat> 
The last two things I want to showcase off real quickly are books I have on the horror genre. And if anybody out there knows anything about me knows I fucking love to read anything about the horror movie genre put in book form. So I'm going to showcase off these little bad boys to you. And the first one is going to be The Complete History of the Return of the Living Dead. Look at that bad boy. That shit is badass. It's a, it's a good, thick book. And I'm going to show off a little bit real quick. This book goes into, um, let's see here. Sorry for my shadow being over it. This book goes into every territory of the making of each film. And even up to part four and five, which I don't consider Return of Living Dead films because they're not too good. But uh, for the fans of the first three, it goes into each and everything about the production, all the cast members, and even the, uh, the people that worked on the film going from talking shit about each other and talking about who got along with who and about the original ideas behind the film before they're actually filmed. I mean, it has every secret about the film. But yeah, I'm going to go from back to front here. Um, these are from the later films, part four and five, which, again, I don't consider. But this is from part three, um, which was decent. It was okay. But I, I prefer part one and two the best. And you get a lot of great fo uh, color photos of you know, behind the scenes stuff, as you can see right here. And, and like, again, it goes into a lot of detail about the making of these films and the no and what, you know? Um, but my favorite section of this book, of course, being the first Return of the Living Dead. And this is where the end of the chapter of Return of the Living Dead won. But, uh, you know, it goes into so much coverage and territory about everything you ever want to know about these films and i'm a big fan of them and if you are too you will fucking love this book i kid you not it's definitely worth the buy or you know what not it's, it's worth every future penny out there but yeah and here you got you got the punk the team punks of return of living dead which i love them um and some zombies there yeah you you pretty much it goes into details, but it has so many publicity photos and behind-the-scenes photos I've never seen before. Um, it's it's awesome. But anyway, so that's that's that. Okay, I love this book. It's one of my favorite presents I got from this Christmas. Okay, the next one I'm going to go into real quick is another book I got about the slasher genre, which. No lie, I got I got shit tons of books about the slasher genre, but this is another UK based book that it it really you know it um it's 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 a different looking look at it and it is organized very well. It's a different organization to any of the books I got on the slasher genre. So I'm gonna showcase this little baby off, and that is called Teenage Wasteland: The Slasher Film Uncut. Look at that glossy badass cover. Okay, and then you got Happy Birthday to Me on the back of it. Um, so I'm going to show this off to some friends because I have some friends like Jeffrey Lee and stuff who are curious about this book. So I'm going to try to do a good job of showcasing it. Um, at the end, end of the book right here, you have this flap that's uh, a Terra Train um, quad right there. Advertisement. And um, the book is it's just it's broken up to every subgenre of slashers from the Italian giallos all the way to the the recent remakes and the 90s slasher films that came after Scream. But um, it's it uh, it's just rife with so many posters and photos of all these films. Yeah, there you go. There's all the Scream stuff, and this is the like late 80s stuff here. Um, it's, uh, I'm, I'm just going to try to showcase some of this off for you. Uh, you know, you got Mortuary, The Final Terror, uh, Curtains, um, you know, The House on the Sorority Row, um, The Slumber Party Massacre, Girls' Night Out, uh, Pranks, um, you know, The Friday the 13th, Alone in the Dark, Visiting Hours, um, Honeymoon Horror. Um, you know, it's... It goes into a lot of uh, detail about all these films. Happy Birthday to Me, The Burning, um, Bloody Birthday, Graduation Day, uh, My Bloody Valentine. Um, so many of them. The Boogeyman, Schizoid, um, you know, all the Christmas uh, theme slashers. 
but yeah, it goes into all these films. So look at all these uh, great photos and stuff. And, and also, the of course, articles are good too about each film. I just want to showcase this off because it's meant to be shown off because it's just so badass. But there you go. So that's um, Teenage Wasteland, the book. And, you know, the front piece is for the remake of Friday the 13th, which, eh, whatever, but I love this. This is the original, one of the original UK quads of the original Friday the 13th, which I love this cover. Shows all the fun and stuff going on, then boom, death and murder. So anyhow, that's this book. So, yes, as a nerd as I am, my favorite two things I got for Christmas out of all the things I got was these two books. But, you know, of course, plus these movies. And I got a few other things, but they're not horror movie themed, so I'm not going to cover them. But anyway, that's it. I'm over and out. And uh, everyone, take it easy. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed some of the collection I got. Bye.